this is the infamous error 19 undocking problem. Undocking problem. Clear obstacles and then press clean. So what happens is the mopping pad eventually gets heavy and wet. If you don't change it every time this thing goes out to mop, which you may not need to because your house might be clean. And the uh, base pad that the robot sits on gets slippery and wet, and it doesn't have enough traction to get off of it. And that's when you get error 19, undocking problem. Now, I've actually already fixed this problem, and to get it to come up again, I forgot to film it having the problem in the first place. To get it to come up again, I had to cheat, because this solution is so good that there's no way this thing would stay on there. It even ripped free of my hand. I tried to push it, because it has so much traction now that it just refuses to stay on the pad. Now, how did I do that? Let's find out. All right, so this is the solution for the um, undocking issue with the uh, BravaJet M6. So the problem is that the tires get too slick to come out of these little um, slippery grooves. And I actually tried like grip tape in here and that didn't work. So what I'm gonna try next is stippling. Now, um, I wouldn't have posted this video if the solution didn't work, so by now you can assume that stippling is the solution for this. And we're gonna do it using a soldering iron. Now the tip I have here is a chisel tip. All right, let me try to get it to focus. But you could use basically any tip because it doesn't matter how you how it looks, for example. It doesn't matter, there we go, do you see that? All that matters is that you create this aggressive texture. I don't know if you can see that. And yeah, it's gonna make it look like poo, but you don't care. You also don't care how even it is. First of all, you won't notice this when the robot's sitting on it. You only notice it when the robot leaves the dock and is able to do its job. You probably shouldn't be doing this without some sort of um, mask, vapor protection, but I have to be able to talk. So it's a very quick process, and I'll stop the camera now so I could put on a um, some uh, a mask so I don't have to breathe in these fumes, and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. All right, so I did it up to the uh, up to the ramp here, and it's got this aggressive texture. And again, the soldering iron melts the plastic so that it makes the um, like these little risers stand up. And if you feel this, very aggressive. So there's no way it's going to slip on this. And I made it right up to the ramp. You can make it a little farther. I mean, I'll straighten out this edge. Not that you have to because I'm a stickler for details, but I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to do this one. I'm going to leave the camera rolling and then put it on time lapse. Actually, before I do time lapse, let me just show you a couple of things. First, you don't need a chisel tip. You can just get a straight, regular tip and just poke holes in it like this. And, and second of all, you don't have to be careful like this. You could just do what I'm doing here, which is just poke holes in it, and it'll create that sort of texture. Of course, this is a deeper, more aggressive texture that I created here, so I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. All right, I'm going to stop the time lapse at this point. I know it wasn't much of a time lapse, but it's because I want to rant about something. iRobot should have done this. I mean, not stippling, but they should have increased the texture here. They know about the undocking issue. It's a common issue. I've had a couple of subscribers tell me that um, they've had their wheels replaced more than once because the wheels... iRobot's solution is, oh, the wheels went bald, and let's send them new wheels, but the wheels don't go bald. Yeah, they, they're not, they lose some of their um, aggression, I guess, but the wheels work just fine 
unlike your floor, the only thing they can't do is get out of this ridiculous little thing, and the robot won't dock without this. Like, that's another thing. Why do you need this thing for the robot to dock? Like, why can't it just come up and... I mean, I guess it wants to put its tires into this. All right, so I'm done. This is the stippling. And again, if... Um, if I put this video out, this worked like a charm, okay? So you can see this aggressive texture, and again, you can hear it. Okay? So if this doesn't work, um, I don't know what will. So I guess we'll see. All right, so let's test this solution. Let's get this thing nice and wet. Pour water right into those little stippled depressions. Now this is about as wet and nasty as it's going to get. It's slippery as hell. Let's see if it works. No problem. Let's try it again. Again, very, very slippery. No problem. Now, before we call it a day, let's try one more thing. So let's call this a real world test. I've got this very heavy, very nasty, very saturated, dirty old pad that I just threw away. So let's put that on there. Let's trick it into thinking I filled up the water tank, otherwise it may complain. Let's put it on this. This is still nasty and wet. Now it's gonna be even nastier and wetter. If it can undock from this, it can undock from anything. And the fix is a success. Let's try one more time. That's it. This is the fix for undocking issues. See how wet that is? See how nasty that is? If it can undock from this, it can undock from anything. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Mike, and this is Mr. Rumbato.